no matter what, you remember where you were that Tuesday morning. Here in New York, it was a beautiful late summer day. From our ABC News vault, here's some of our coverage. Peter Jennings anchoring. So it is no wonder that all across the country today, at airports and at public sites, many, many which have been closed from the west all the way across to the east, people are holding their breath. Don't wish to mellow, be melodramatic about it, are holding their breath. Uh, as to whether or not there is one more, or should I say, another incident to come. And that was because the shock was so profound watching on television as we did this morning to see the second aircraft come in and crash into the other, uh, into the other of the twin trade towers, there it is, which have now both collapsed. And it is in, in some ways a reminder of what happened when the Challenger exploded and the constant repetition of the explosion of the Challenger on uh, the Challenger space shuttle just drove it into our collective consciousness all across the nation. What we had witnessed uh, together, though, were clearly unable to feel in the same way as those people in the immediate area. But John McCarthy at the Pentagon. John. Peter, we are uh, standing outside the Pentagon at this point, it has been already a long morning for rescue workers and police here. Uh, one eyewitness I talked to who was on this busy highway outside the Pentagon this morning said he saw an airplane coming directly over his head. It was an American Airlines plane. He could see the number on the plane. He could almost see the passengers inside as it went along the highway, started clipping off the uh, high wires and the different light poles along the highway and slammed directly into the side of the Pentagon. As we said earlier, Peter, the aircraft penetrated deep inside the Pentagon. It is uh, organized in rings from the E ring on the outside. It penetrated all the way into the A ring in the inner part of the Pentagon. Uh, after it burned for a number of minutes, a part of the building collapsed. By the time rescue workers could get in there, the destruction was just terrific. John, do you have any sense of the casualties? Uh, we don't have any sense, Peter, except the size of the medical operation that has been set up here is enormous. Uh, they are anticipating the casualties. Certainly the injured will be in the hundreds. Uh, I certainly don't want to speculate on those killed. And John, it, it, it's a little hard to get, to, to get a sense of the size sometimes for the picture. Can you describe maybe in feet or in yards how big a, how big a penetration this is? The roof has collapsed, Peter. There is a chasm in the side of the Pentagon that is probably 200 or 300 feet across. Mm -hmm. um, from the roof of the Pentagon, there is this huge V shape that has collapsed. You can see deep inside the Pentagon from the street now.